Hello and welcome back to Journeying G. As mentioned in last week's video, today's episode takes you on an exploration in a complete new surrounding to my usual London scenery. The location is just as tantalizing to any metropolitan lover like me. I'm continuing my studies no place else than the Big Apple, New York City. To inaugurate this exciting chapter of my life, I was fortunate enough to soak up the urban energy from Manhattan's bustling streets. Here is part of one of my reflections upon arrival in this unknown continent. We begin in the airplane. The trip lasted six hours and I forgot how draining such a long flight can be. Nonetheless, I enjoyed an excellent service on the plane of British Airways. The staff went to great length at keeping us well sustained throughout the flight and tended to our many demands. I got all excited when they showed the new security video, since it featured the well-known Diary of a CEO host, Stephen Bartlett, a huge inspiration in my life. This brings me to my first reflection, which is to stay kind as best as possible in times where you are surrounded by many strangers that have different customs to you. Yes, they may invade your privacy for the duration of the flight, but trying to stay calm and smiling through the process will not only make the experience better for anyone on the plane, but it will also positively reinforce your spirits and keep you content throughout. I would like to put emphasis on the kindness you show towards the flight attendances, since they are the ones up and running the whole duration of the time spent in the air, their work might go unnoticed, so even if your demands are not taken care of instantly, stay patient with them and know that they are doing the best that they can. Upon arrival in New York City, I instantly fell in love with this city. The hotel was in the midst of bustling Manhattan, yet the vibe was not as restless as I imagined it to be. To my surprise, I woke up to a metropolitan morning, yet devoid of the usual urbanists flocking or milling around the streets or cars rushing by aggressively honking at you. What an unexpected energy. As the business of the city increases as the day grows longer, there remains a calmness wherever I went in downtown New York. This was a welcome change to my day-to-day -day urban life experience. I am very conscious that my New Yorkan intake is only very brief and locationally biased, yet New York, to me, didn't seem as competitive nor stressful than London did, and I thrived in that energy. A culture shock I had to get used to, though, was the constant air conditioning in buildings. The UK is rather cool, even during summer. I had to come to terms with going from humid heat in the streets to cold air conditioning within rooms, something I'm still figuring out as we speak. A last reflection I left downtown New York with was as I made my way to my university. It is the fact that I fell in love with this city. Again, its calm energy in the morning was very soothing and also reassuring in a way because it reminded me that there is an alternative to the go-go mentality of London, especially in the mornings. Don't expect people to serve you coffee before 7 or 8 a.m. The vastness of the buildings is another feature which I admired. Taking your mind off and letting time stand still as you glanced upwards the many skyscraper. And so that was my first snapshot of New York City. I hope you join me in my next recordings, getting to know this city in all its multifaceted beauty. If you could do me a favor whilst you are here, I would really appreciate it if you share this video with your loved ones, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. The world needs more of your unique energy.